Have you ever had the impression that there are a million unknowns in life? It seems like you're always looking for meaning and purpose, questioning if you're on the correct track or whether there's more to this adventure. We're going to talk about a life-changing reality today that has the capacity to alter everything. It is simple to become caught in the confusion in a world when the signals of independence and hard work are everywhere. What if, however, I told you that there is a timeless reality, a light that can shine on even the most obscure paths? Placing God first is a straightforward yet incredibly revolutionary concept. We go on a path of faith, trust, and surrender when we turn our attention from ourselves and our own desires to something greater, something everlasting. This path leads to an unfathomably joyful, peaceful, and purposeful life. What's the best thing, then? Anyone can go on this journey, no matter where they are in life or what they have experienced. I cordially encourage you to embark on this trip with me if you've ever felt like something is missing from your life and yearned for a greater feeling of purpose and meaning. Let's examine the life-changing potential of prioritizing God and having complete faith in Him. Never again will your life be the same. It's normal to want control in a world that seems chaotic and overwhelming most of the time. We methodically schedule our days, make plans for the future, and work to sway events to our advantage. But what occurs when we encounter unforeseen challenges in life? When our well-thought-out plans fall apart, what should we do? This is where the beauty of giving God total control manifests itself. It's about realizing that there's a bigger power at work in our lives, not about giving up or conceding failure. We become vulnerable to an indescribable serenity when we give up the delusion of control and put our faith in God. Envision yourself on a vessel in a tempestuous ocean. The wind is howling, the waves are smashing, and you feel like you're floating aimlessly. Do you fight for control of the boat, feverishly navigating it? Or do you give up and put your faith in the captain, who is more experienced in the sea than you? God is the ultimate captain in our life. He is aware of the ocean's depths has a plan that far outweighs our comprehension and sees the wider picture. We are saying, I may not understand what's happening now, but I trust that you do when we place our trust in him. I have faith that you are leading me to someplace better. This attitude change is free. We may relax knowing that we are not alone and are freed from the weight of attempting to manage every part of our lives. We are urged to put all of our trust in the Lord and not rely on our own wisdom in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. It serves as a reminder that God has all the answers, not us. As you go about your day, never forget to give up control and give it to the one who is in charge of the entire universe. Have faith that God has a much bigger plan for your life than anything you could ever imagine. Everything will work itself out if you prioritize God and put your trust in Him. Setting God first allows one to receive heavenly guidance and purpose. When we put our trust in God's plan, we find guidance in the midst of ambiguity and clarity in the midst of confusion. As Psalm 32 verse 8 reminds us, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Our connection to God turns into a compass that points us in the direction of contentment and significance. Envision a GPS directing you through turns and turns until you reach your final destination. It feels like a solid, guiding hand through life's uncertainties when you trust in God's plan. Turning to God for guidance can make all the difference, whether you're managing personal issues, dealing with difficult decisions, or relationships. God's direction is not some enigmatic whisper on the breeze. It is there in our lives in a tangible way. We make room in our hearts for His guidance and wisdom by studying His Word, praying, and practicing meditation. It's similar like having direct access to the most authoritative source of wisdom and knowledge. But it's not always simple to believe in God's plan. It needs trust, the conviction that even in the absence of our ability to perceive the wider picture, God understands what is best for us. It entails submitting our own plans and goals to His will. But when we do, we find a deep sense of clarity and calm. We can see clearly today, doors open, possibilities present themselves, and we can move forward with confidence knowing that God is guiding us. Thus, I implore you to seek God's direction if you're feeling lost or unsure of what to do next. Give Him time in prayer, pay attention to what He says, and have faith that He will guide your steps. You will never walk alone when you put God first because He will always be at your side, leading you every step of the way. 
The path of life is frequently paved with unforeseen difficulties and setbacks. Our faith in God is put to the test in earnest during these trying times. However, these are also the times when we can encounter God's amazing power and presence in our lives. Consider a moment when you overcame a significant challenge, such as a health issue, a financial hardship, or a strained relationship. Feeling overpowered and helpless is a normal reaction during those depressing times. However, when we pray to God, we get access to a strength that is greater than ourselves. The Bible is replete with tales of common people showing unshakable faith in the face of incredible adversity. Consider the tale of Job as an example. Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him, demonstrating his unwavering trust in God in the face of losing all he held dear. Job 13 verse 15. Similar to this, the Apostle Paul faced numerous challenges while on his missionary travels, such as shipwrecks, incarceration, and persecution. Nevertheless, he declared with assurance, I can accomplish all of this because he is my strength. Philippians 4 verse 13. God's power is made perfect in our weakness when we put our faith in his promises. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Even while we might not always understand why we encounter hardship, we can rest certain that God is by our side the entire time. God promises to walk beside us, giving us consolation, confidence, and hope not to take away every difficulty from our path. According to Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Through faith in God's power, we may confront hardship with courage and fortitude. Our adversities present chances for spiritual development and transformation. We find that we are more than conquerors because of Him who loves us as we rely on His power. Romans 8 verse 37. Thus, keep in mind that you are not alone when you find yourself in the middle of a storm. God is prepared to support you during your darkest hours. You will come out of life's adversity stronger, wiser, and with a deeper faith if you put your trust in His strength. Prioritizing God changes not just our priorities, but also our whole way of seeing the world. It's similar like donning new glasses that let us view the world from God's perspective. All of a sudden, the quest for worldly achievement and financial gain becomes less important than the pursuit of spiritual development and helping others. Everything else falls into place when our relationship with God is our top priority. Our objectives and aspirations come into alignment with His will, resulting in a life that is more purposeful and rewarding. In Matthew 6 verse 33, Jesus reiterated this idea by saying, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Envision ascending a mountain, where reaching the top signifies achieving all your aspirations. At first, you might believe that becoming successful entails gaining money, notoriety, or influence. But as you go, you come to understand that the trip itself, especially the journey of becoming closer to God, is what truly fulfills you, not the summit. When we put God first in our lives, our aspirations line up with His love, compassion, humility, and service become more important to us than the transient pleasures of this world. Just being in His presence brings us contentment and transforms our souls. This metamorphosis is about a fundamental shift in who we are, not merely about what we do. It's about emulating Christ in all aspects, selflessness, compassion, and love. We find a deeper feeling of fulfillment and purpose that surpasses what the world has to offer when we let God rearrange our priorities. I want you to think about your priorities for a moment today. Do you prioritize God in your life, or are there other things that come first? Never forget that your life will never be the same if you put God first. Placing God first offers a significant perspective adjustment in a society where material goods and outward accomplishments are frequently used to gauge success. Our idea of success changes from worldly criteria to eternal values when we prioritize God. It makes clear to us what's important in life. Imagine striving for recognition, money, and promotions only to arrive at a dead end. For many people who chase prosperity without taking God's plan for their life into consideration, this is their reality. However, success has a new meaning when we match our objectives with His purpose. This meaning embraces the eternal rather than the transient. From a God-centered standpoint, success has nothing to do with the quantity of awards we possess or the size of our cash balances. 
It's about modeling His grace, love, and truth in your life. It all comes down to changing other people's lives and leaving a legacy that draws people to Christ. Jesus Himself provided the best possible example of achievement by living a life of sacrifice, humility, and service. He had no desire for wealth or glory. Rather, He placed great emphasis on following the Father's will, even if it meant dying on the cross. He won the biggest triumph of all, redemption for humanity, because of His obedience. When we put God first, we discover that the quality of our relationship with Him and the influence we have on others are the true indicators of success. It all comes down to loving God with all of our hearts and our neighbors as ourselves. It's about applying our abilities and assets to advance God's kingdom and exalt His name. We frequently experience setbacks, failures, and disappointments in our quest for achievement. However, when we put our faith in God's plan, we can take solace in the knowledge that He orchestrates everything for our benefit. Romans 8 verse 28, we can feel His indescribable serenity even in the face of hardship. I urge you to reconsider your concept of success as you make your way through life. Are you seeking long-lasting fulfillment in Christ, or are you racing after transient pleasures? Giving in to God's will and following His word will lead to true success. When you do, your legacy will reverberate throughout eternity and your life will serve as a monument to His faithfulness. Recall that prioritizing God is a daily commitment rather than an isolated choice. When one puts their trust in Him, their life is profoundly transformed and becomes joyful, peaceful, and purposeful. Setting God first entails transforming our hearts and allowing Him into all facets of our lives, including our relationships, careers, aspirations, and anxieties. Imagine having a sensation of excitement each morning and knowing that God is always by your side. Imagine overcoming obstacles with assurance because you know that His strength will be made perfect in your weakness. Imagine living a life where your level of success is determined by how well you connect with God, not by what society considers successful. Let's face it, there won't always be ease in this path. There will be times when you feel scared, unsure, and want to regain control. All the same, God is dependable. He swears that He won't ever abandon us. Therefore, hold fast to His promises knowing that His love never wavers, even in the deepest of circumstances. Today, I want to inspire you to let go of control, ask for spiritual guidance, discover strength in hardship, rearrange your priorities, and adopt a new outlook on success. Putting God first invites His revolutionary power into all aspect of your life, so your life will never be the same. Let's spend a moment in prayer to establish a connection with God before we part ways, as we seek His continuing direction, fortitude, and serenity in our life. Let's bow our heads and let our hearts be open to His presence. Heavenly Father, we humbly give our hearts to Your holy presence as we humble ourselves before You in prayer. We submit to Your omnipotence over the cosmos and our lives. We find our strength and sanctuary in You, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, we are grateful for how prioritizing You in our life has the ability to change us. Please help us to put all of our faith in You, to acknowledge You in all that we do, and to rely not on our own understanding but on Your will to guide our paths. Please give us the discernment to relinquish control and accept Your ideal plan for our life. We find comfort in Your unwavering love in the midst of life's uncertainties and difficulties. You are our stronghold, our rock, and our light in the dark. Please assist us to rely on your promises as a rock when life's storms overwhelm us, knowing that you are always there to support us. Lord, we ask that you lead and instruct us in all areas of our lives. Let us see your hand at work in the world around us by opening our eyes. Please make clear the way you have set for us so that we can walk in humility and obedience. Give us the wisdom to distinguish your voice from the cacophony of the outside world and the bravery to go where you lead. Lord, give us the courage to overcome the difficulties that lie ahead. Remind us that your strength is made perfect in our weakness when we are weak. Assist us in enduring with faith and fortitude, understanding that you are our constant source of support throughout difficult times. Father, change our thoughts and hearts to reflect your will. Align our goals with your kingdom objectives so that we can put your righteousness first and rely on you to meet all of our needs. May your kindness and grace be reflected in our lives, 
inspiring others to come into a relationship with you. Lord, please give us a fresh outlook on success. Please help us to gauge our success based on the quality of our relationship with you rather than on external norms. May knowing and serving you provide us true fulfillment instead of the transient joys of this life. Finally, we give thanks to you, Lord, for granting us the opportunity to approach your throne in prayer. We pray that this communion period will bolster our faith and increase our reliance on you. May you always be exalted in our life, both now and in the future. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who now and forever reigns alongside you and the Holy Spirit as one God, we pray all these things. Amen. I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and comment if this message resonated to you. You can find more motivational content there. Comment below with your ideas and encounters, and let's continue on this spiritual path together.